Yo, what's up, community? Your man, Evil Foot, Natural Manila. <laughs> you know the place. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Bringing you another evil sneaker review. And today we have the Nike Air More Up Tempo Split. As always, the beats are from my homie Anthony Accurate, who is the illest producer ever. This pickup is from local sneaker boutique, Capital PH. Make sure you check them out. See, they have a, a bunch of things here sneakers, caps, hoodies, bags, all that good stuff. Nice setup. And today is actually Nike Air Max Day. AJ approved Air Max that I didn't pick up. Feet on feet today are my AJ1 Brotherhoods. Swapped out the uh, laces. And as always, at EvilTShirtClub.com for the rarest, illest, most villainous t shirts ever. So here we go. Again, pickup is from Capital PH. Make sure you check these guys out. Legit. Everything is legit there. So we have a classic Nike box. You can pause it here if you need to get a, a closer shot at that label. These are all, all of the things to help you out with your legit checks. These are always on things, at least in country, used to uh, verify your pair. Standard plain paper, not, nothing hyped here. You know, I do kind of appreciate it when they do something special, but this time they didn't do it. And you know, I always keep my receipts, my boxes, all that good stuff, part of the story. Let's get to the sneaker. Wow. Leather toe box, that's different. We got the Chicago Bulls color on the outside or the, the lateral panel. Here we go with the hidden Nike swoosh. I don't know why this, this is hidden. I mean, I understand it's part of like the, the lace locking system. Then we have the Olympic colorways here. So this is a sneaker that's paying homage to Scotty Pippen. And as you can see, he has his label now, his own logo now on the up tempo, which is not standard. Uh, then we have the split in the colorways, that jeweled Nike logo with swoosh. Two swooshes on the bottom. Wow, what a dope sneaker. I mean, I saw this and immediately fell in love. I immediately identified with the story being told here. I mean, you know, he was an Olympic gold medalist as well as an NBA champion. So this sneaker tells that story. And even though the Nike Air more up tempo was not his signature sneaker, here you go. This is the OG that we all remember. And you see his OG does not have his hip logo on the back, whereas this sneaker does have hip logo on the back, which is dope, right? So, I mean, like I said earlier, you know, this is not his signature sneaker with Nike, but you cannot think Nike more up tempo without thinking about Scottie Pippen. And again, we're doing this video from the preference of the, 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 the player when he was a player in the NBA, not the retired disgruntled employee we got now who's trying to sell books and bashing everything that he kind of built up. So. I understand that there's a lot of hate behind the guy right now, uh, and I'm not in support of what he's doing either. So, I'm, like, we're just, if you can, please, for this video, uh, just take it back to the 90s when we, did, we actually loved and appreciated the player that he was. Not the retired player that he is now, but the player that he was when he was an active player. The sneaker is dope because it locks you right in. You identify immediately with everything, you know, his accomplishments, you know, as an Olympic gold medalist and an NBA champion with the Chicago Bulls. Uh, we have the new buck on the upper. Then we have leather for the uh, air blocking. I'll link the uh, Interbay unboxing video I did for this if, if I have it posted. I don't know, I have so much stuff now. Then we have the, uh, these are actually two air capsules, um, not just one, complete, but they did a good job of selling it. That logo is just dope, you know? That Pippin logo, This when you see this, it's just like, finally, uh, he gets some love here from the up-tempo because even though it was not his signature sneaker with Nike, he had a different signature sneaker. You cannot uh, disassociate the up-tempo from Scotty Pippin, right? 
so there i mean what do you guys think of this is this something that you would pick up like for me as soon as i saw it it was a must have i you know story here is is monumental to me on so many levels so it's like you know if you're a sneakerhead this is something you definitely want to grab but like if you're not a sneakerhead and you just like you know up to close do you think that this is a cool sneaker at least i know it's a bit extreme you got bright red on the uh the outer <laughs> you got dark blue on the inside so it's two two extremes here um, but i'm totally into it Nike Air on the insole, and it was kind of difficult to get this out, so you know it's kind of glued in toes area, but you can still see the floorboard here. And I'll show you guys what the uh, inner label looks like. 9.5 as always, these guys fit true to size, so if you wear 9.5 and J's, you do the same with the up toes. Then we have the lace locking system. Again, this is 96 technology. So it was top of the line thin. Uh, then we have the air uh, blocking that's in leather. That hidden logo is in leather. Full tabs. So yeah, what do you think? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Until next time. Mm.